the 76th episode of that sewing blab. Again, we want to thank you all for coming in and stopping in and watching our show tonight. We're really excited. As you know, tonight is the night that you all get to vote on your favorite one. And I'm ready for this show. So but before we get this, this show started, I can't talk. I'm so excited. Before <laughs> we get this show started, you know, we have to get rid of the, we have to get, get, the housekeeping done first. So for everyone that's new, I want to let you know, the host here, the lovely host, we can see just her partial face, <laughs> is our host, Dawn Pengali from the blog Dueling Designs. And I am her co-host, Myra Rentmeister from the blog Simple Inspirations. Now, if you um, want to ask a question, um, you'd look down below, there is a section, a link that says ask a question. All you have to do is select that link and put your little question in there and we'll make sure that we get to it. Um, if you have just comments that you want, you can put those in the comment section or in the ask a question, doesn't matter either uh, one, but the questions we don't want to miss. So we want to make sure those questions go down that down there. So without further ado, I'm going to let it, pass it over to the lovely Dawn and we're going to get this not show, but competition. Sorry. <laughs> All right. It is fierce competition. Um, yes. Good evening, everyone. And thank you for the lovely introduction, Lyra. Um, really yes, welcome. I'm doing this on purpose because I'm wearing something <laughs> that I want to show later. So that's why I'm way down here. So <laughs> what we are doing this evening is we're talking about the So You Think You Can Sew competition. Um, this is the example round. It is not the, the proper round. That gets started next week. And I'm totally, completely excited about that. So Meyer and I are doing an example round. So you can see that, you know, it's meant to be fun and see how it would work. Although it was slightly condensed, but hurricanes, you know, do put off people's schedules <laughs> yes. Yes. but yes we're very very excited um so let's see i was just going to describe what happened last week and then i remembered i haven't put um this up which kind of describes what's going to happen in the future which is a lot more important than it's yes. what's going what's going to be going on with everyone else so we're doing the example round now um, in October, we have round one, and we have two fabulous guests. We'll talk about them at the end of the show. Yes. Then round two, we have two other guests. And then the winner from round two and the winner from round one will meet up in the finals. And uh, that will be fabulous. And then we'll have our champion of champions. <laughs> so uh, I can't wait. And we'll talk more about the fabulous prizes that we have um, for people at the end as well. So last week. Um, we tried to do it. We had the fabulous Victoria from, I always get it backward, 10,000 hours of sewing and <laughs> 10,000 so sewing hours. hours. Yeah. One's the blog address, the www dot, and one's the actual um, blog name. Um, but she was lovely enough to come on the show last week, and it was a lot of fun, wasn't it, Mark? Yes, it was awesome. Thank you, Victoria. If you're listening out there, thank you so much um, uh, for that. Uh, facilitating our show. Uh, you did an awesome job and we can't thank you enough. Yes, it, it really was lovely. But one thing that we were really remiss about was Myra. We were, you know, talking about what we do and we're, we do this blog and we opened up the new trim, but we never mentioned Myra's YouTube channel. So <laughs> I, I just think oh, no. Myra, doesn't, Myra doesn't even know I was going to mention this, but her Myra Lorraine YouTube channel, it is fabulous. She just started off. I would love for everyone to go say hello to Myra on her YouTube channel. You know, Thank put you. something in the comments, give her a thumbs up because Thank you. anyone who edits videos knows how hard work it is. Oh, yeah. So I enjoy them a lot, Myra. Thank you. Uh, it is a lot of hard work, Dawn, as you know, um, with all of the, the that sewing blabs that you have on your YouTube channel. I mean, it's incredible. I just didn't realize how much work goes into those um, setting those up, but it truly is a lot of fun. So thank you so much for that. And Elizabeth says that the green dress that you showed on your YouTube channel is a must see. It is fab. You look. Uh, thank you. And we'll get to Elizabeth later. But it's also <laughs> nice to see that we have some new people in the house. Oh yeah. Mandy F. Hello, Mandy. Thank you for watching. Yes. Um, Yes, we are happy that you're here from uh, 
uh, the video that we did on Ladybird. I think that was lovely. <laughs> well, thank you. We we love referrals. We truly do. Yeah. <laughs> so, Myra. Uh oh. This is what we got last week. Yes. Let's talk about your initial impressions of this fabulous trim that the gorgeous Victoria sent us in the mail. <laughs> Well, for those of you who were live on the show last last week, when I first opened my mystery package, my initial thought was, oh my God, Dawn's going to love this. <laughs> because Dawn is very colorful and playful. And oh my gosh, she just she just exudes all of, all of the things that I said. And while I do like color, I tend to be the person that is always trying to run away from black. I don't know what that <laughs> is, but my closet at one time literally was 100% black. <laughs> so I've slowly been adding color to it. But um, after I said that in my head, I thought, hmm, I have an idea. And the idea didn't come to fruition, but I do like what came to fruition. And I guess I could tell you a little bit more about that. But I'm sure I want to hear your thoughts about what you thought when you first opened that package. Um, I don't know what to expect. And like I, I told everyone, I'm so excited. It was like sitting on my desk for a couple of weeks. And yeah, so I ripped into it. And yeah, I was very happy. I was, it was exciting looking. <laughs> and, and then the more I looked at it, I was like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? Because <laughs> it is bright and colorful, but it's kind of a, I don't know, Coachella. It, you know, meets um, Egyptian princess, meets, you know, tribally kind yes. of feel with, uh, for, I love bright colors. So this is almost pastels for me. <laughs> so I, I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do. And then I started to panic because I'm, you know, Coachella, Egyptian princess, you know, isn't really, uh, isn't really me, you know, like it, it just, so I was like, oh, what am I going to do? But um, I had a lot of fun with it. It was very inspiring. And I love that it pushed me out of my comfort zone a little. Did you find the same thing, Myra? Well, I'm glad that you said that. You mentioned that because once I uh, actually had it here, the trim on my sewing table, and I, I let it sit there. It's, I, I kid you not. My husband will tell you. <laughs> it literally sat there because what I wanted to do, I thought I had the perfect fabric. I didn't lie on that show. I had the perfect fabric. It was in the dryer. I took it out of the dryer and realized that this freaking stuff shrank a lot. <laughs> oh. I ended up with one yard of material left and it was the perfect color for one of those. Remember I said it's matching one of those colors in there, but I wasn't going to tell you which one. Well, it was matching yeah. the color, but now I only have one yard. I'm like, what am I going to do with this? I, didn't, oh, no. I can't believe it shrank that much. So um, I, it sat there, the trim sat there, and I'm trying to figure out okay, now what am I going to do with this? And the more I looked at it, the more I thought like you. Oh, my God, this is like tribal. What the heck could I do with tribal? And I went through different phases, Dawn, no kidding. I went from um, saying that maybe I could um, – do like Project Runway, some of those fabulous people they had on there where they created their own textile. Maybe I could do something. So I started playing around with it like that to try and create my own textile with it and realized real quick that I didn't have enough fabric or trim to do what I wanted to do. Um. Well, that went out the window. And I didn't, <laughs> I didn't want to make it just so literal and just, you know, it's a trim, use it as trim. But that's what happened. So um, I'm really interested to see what everybody thinks of it. So what about I'm sure it is gorgeous, Myra. I have no doubt. Well, mine started out with a sketch because, and I did this Sunday. Yeah, finally, Sunday, I started to sketch something on my iPad. And when I showed it to my husband, he says, you know, that kind of looks cute going like this with his head back and forth trying to turn around. I think it kind of looks cute, but he, he's not a visual person. You know, he, he is a visual person. He has to see it. But to him, a sketch on the iPad is not like the real thing <laughs> to him. Yeah. So I said, you know what? I'm going to go with this because in my brain to the iPad, that looks good. So I'm just going to go with that and see what happens. So I had to actually draft this. And it drafted pretty well. 
Um, it's very simple. I only had one yard. I only had the two yards of the trim to work with. So I think I did pretty good. So we'll see. But what about you? Was it as challenging for you? Um, I definitely like feel a lot of things you're saying. And I, I think the people that are coming on the show might the, the contestants might feel the same thing. Uh, like at first, all you feel is the limitations, you know, over and yes. over that um, I was in a little bit house band last week, so didn't go shopping for fabrics. So I only had certain fabrics that are certain weights. Um, we only had that much trim. I didn't have any different closures or things that, you know, even my thread, <laughs> it was a little, it was a little, the choice was a little iffy, but yeah, all of it at one point in time feels like pressure, but then when you, when things click, you're like, yeah, I kind of like this. Yes. And I would also echo the same thing with when you were talking about designing, Myra. Um, Drew, um, like I, I told you, um, my process is to like, I look at magazines and Pinterest. So I grabbed right. like just anything I could see that had different trims mm -hmm. just to have a peek, you know, where are the trims? Um, you know, like this one had it down the side seam. Mm -hmm. um, anything that had stuff that could be inspirational mm -hmm. so those were like a bunch of the things that i looked at um yeah so you could see where i was coming from oh yeah yeah and then uh, and then i sat down and because i had um some time this week um i said okay you got 20 minutes do one page so then i'd like madly try and sketch <laughs> a page wow <laughs> So then I ended up doing all sorts, and at this stage, there's messy sketch stage, which is my favorite, not the tidy sketch stage. It's like anything goes. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't matter if the boobs are up around the ears, excuse my language. Um, <laughs> I understand. Um, any trim, anywhere, anything yes. goes. Yes. And then I sat down and thought, okay, I really like some of those, and I put, you know, try, uh, like circled the ones I would, thought, oh, I'll try those, and then I thought, I don't have fabric for that. I don't have the right thickness of fabric, the right amount. I don't have enough trim. I don't have enough. So then I tried draping some stuff on the mannequin of the ones that were left in that smaller pile. And yeah, in the end, it was a lot simpler design. Like I thought, oh, this is a chance to really shine and show off all these fabulous skills. But then the trim kept pushing me in certain directions. And I kept thinking, if I'm actually going to wear this, Mm -hmm. It's got to be something more like this, and I'm like, oh, yeah. it might not show. It's not very editorial <laughs> for uh -huh. the camera, but I, like you said, in the end, I'm happy with yeah. what it is. But it was not what I imagined in the beginning. <laughs> well, I have to tell you, you know, it's funny while I'm listening to you talk about things that are so similar through, to what I actually <laughs> went through. Um, it would be really, I don't even know the word, if we ended up showing the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny but i find that very interesting i, I i'm so excited to see what you made myra like, yeah, um, I'm excited to see what you made so yeah. i'm really pumped about this um and i know that i just wonder everybody's sitting back and they're kind of watching us not even a lot of comments are coming back and forth <laughs> so far because they, i think they really want to see what's been what's what's going on with this uh, but my vote is and I don't know how many of you um, will follow me with this, but I vote whoever goes first, which I think it should be Dawn. <laughs> sure. Um, whoever goes first, um, we, I don't know how you want to do that. Do you want to show, well, you're wearing yours. I'm not. I do have it right here. I can pull it yep. right over. But I'm we, totally fine. I don't care if I'm first or second or okay. what have you. Because I'm nervous, and I don't know why, because I was all gung ho to beat your butt. <laughs> oh, I think well. And now I'm chickening out, <laughs> like what? <laughs> but um, I, it was it was a, such a fun challenge, and you're right. There was a little bit of fun stress because you know at one point I thought, oh my god, what did I get myself into? Yeah. But once I saw that sketch, and I looked at that trim, I said. I got to make this work. So putzing around, there were a lot of different things I had to do to make this work. But in the end, it worked. And I put it on for the first time tonight in its entirety. And I took some photos so you guys could see me in it. And I have to tell you, my outfit actually goes back in years. 
I don't know if that'll make sense to you. It kind of takes me back to, I wish I had my hair in my natural because it kind of takes me back to the 60s, late 60s, mm-hmm. 70s, kind of where they had the afros and I should have my big hoops and stuff like mm-hmm. that. But that's where mine went. It went backwards in time. So I hope everybody's going to like it. But either way, I want to see Dawn's first because Dawn <laughs> is a designer. She's a beautiful designer and she does awesome work. I've seen her work. I mean, her whole blog, Dueling Designs, it, that's what it's about is designing. So um, that is her. That is Dawn's blood. So I really am pumped to see what she did. I really am pumped. Oh, that was really <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, who's that? Elizabeth uh, said, "Flip a coin. Who's gonna go?" Okay, first? here we go. So I have actually found that, like one of the hottest days that we've had in a long time. I have two. <laughs> I have my twelve on as well. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> so this is my twelve. It looks a lot like a whoops, a hospital gown. I'm just gonna uh-huh. quickly um make it so that hopefully this will work. There we go. Okay, so. This is kind of where I started. I was making a, a dress, uh-huh. very loose. Because mm-hmm. um, remember, I'm thinking Egyptian princess goes to Coachella. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, yeah, so um, yeah, it's like this. And I wanted to stick these down the side. OK, uh, OK, got it. Yes. Now, I did did it fine with this, got it the way I liked it. It's got a nice square neckline. Um, I liked it a bit longer, but then I thought, oh, I'll have to have three. But when I actually put it on, I would have liked to have four or five down my arm, but uh-huh. I didn't actually have enough trim. So if I was going to do this again, I would definitely change it slightly. Uh-huh. But I had to move them a bit closer together um, just because of the, how they fall over. Uh-huh. Um, so I did a lot of alterations, moved back up because before it came all the way down to here. Uh-huh. And then they slid more. So I moved uh-huh. this back seam up to here. Uh-huh. So then it doesn't go as far over. Okay. So, and you can already see it here. This is the final garment. I'll hopefully not take my earrings and my, my bun off at the same time. <laughs> Okay, can wow. I put myself back together, sorry. Woo. Okay, um, so this is oh the top my God. Oh and I'll my show you um, a picture as well so you can see. So I went with the um, a piece of op shop fabric that I had. It's uh, a peachy color. And let's see. Can I tell you I'm in love? So oh my God, you killed it. About, oh, I don't know half an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh my um, God, that is way cool. Them. That is. I don't know my ear buds in here. And then um, there's another. Um, I did a hem um, a little different in that it goes up in the front, kind of like the back of a, a Western shirt and then down straight in the back, just because I it felt too plain. Uh-huh. Um, there's the back. Oh, yeah. um, the friends again. Um, whoops. Yes. So the only thing I would say, um, I definitely should have fixed the um, gathering when I put the belt on. <laughs> but um, I would definitely have it come further down the sleeve because it's kind of halfway between a tank top and a dolman sleeve, short sleeve kind okay. of thing, that way you dolman. Uh-huh. It's not quite either. So if I think if I had one more and had the sleeve come out a bit more, it might have looked a little prettier. Well, I think I like it the way it is, though, Don. I think it's beautiful as is. And no, I, I I fell in love with it as soon as you took your top off. I like it the way it is. It's beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful. I don't as think soon as I took my top off. This is a family show moment. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I didn't realize I did that like that. <laughs> but yeah, as soon as you took your over top off, I fell in love with it. I don't think you need another uh, piece down below. It looks perfect the way it is. That is so gorgeous. So oh, gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Um I had to um two kind of belt buckles and this mm-hmm. one is actually a bit too 
big. I got these when I was at uh, M and J in New York. I didn't know they were going to come in handy. Uh -huh. And then this, but this one was too bright, and it kind of took away from the outfit. And um, so yes, this here is the actual belt, and there there literally isn't I would not even a, a centimeter extra. If I like sneeze, uh, it's you know, <laughs> it'll probably it'll it'll probably come off. But um, I like uh, when I tried it with the bluey one. It looked like it broke it up too much and your eye went here where I want your eye up here. Yes. So the clear buckle, even though see it's too big here, uh -huh. um, was a bit better. Uh -huh. I did try putting it on a, a white background to make it wider. So it was like there was a little bit of white above and below it. Uh -huh. And also with um, an aqua color. Mm -hmm. But then all of a sudden you were looking at my waist instead of looking up here again. Oh, so yeah. in the end, I went with the gigantic clear one where are the bra straps? The bra straps. Where, where's the bra? <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, Samina asking. Yeah, I saw that. I I love it. I think you did a bang up job. I mean, just absolutely fabulous. Um, I am not kidding. I love that and may steal that from you, um, that idea from you sometime in the future, next summer. Maybe. Anytime <laughs> you want, Mara. Um, I could do a video uh, a bit more about, yeah, just it was pretty quick and easy once I sorted out what I wanted to do and made a template uh -huh. for kind of the front. Uh -huh. um, but again, I wish I was having a little bit, had a little bit more like, um, I wanted to put just a tiny little bit of it in the crook where the hem goes, the front hem curves this way and the back goes straight down. I wanted to put mm -hmm. a little bit in there, like a little strip of it. I thought it would have looked so cute. Mm -hmm. But like I said, I literally had like a, like a centimeter less and I wouldn't have been able to wear it as a belt. So. Wow. Well, I tell you, um, you and I did the both. I actually used all of my trim too. I didn't have yeah. any left. I, that, well, I take that back. Once I finished my... I made a top. I didn't make a dress. Once I finished my top, I had a small piece left and I used that too. But I will show you an idea with that. But your outfit is absolutely gorgeous. And in the amount of time that we had, which wasn't much, you know, our candidates for October and November will have much more time than we did. Unfortunately, because of the hurricane, we only had, what was it, six days? To do our yeah, work? it was a, it was a little condensed, but it yeah. it was it's not impossible. Yes, it's, it was fun. It was. It, it did mean that, like we were saying, there's some things that we thought we might try, and either because we didn't have enough fabric, or in my case, looking at some of the designs I drew, I was like, there's no way I could make that in that <laughs> amount of time. It'll take me a day to do the fusing if I try to do that, you know. So, yeah, I I think that's part of the thing too. When you make clothes, you have to think all those things. Oh, yeah. it's fabulous! I'm gonna make this. Yes. Ooh, and then you're like, oh, my fabric's too thick for that. Yes. Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah. And that's definitely had a lot of fun. And I'm dying to see yours. Tell me, can you see it now? Can you see it now? Can you see it now? All righty. All righty. Huh? Well, as I stated, um, I had um, made this little sketch. And it was, it's actually in my style that I wear most of the time. But I felt um, that doing this would probably show off and make that trim the focal point. So that's basically why I did what I did. So without further ado, I'm gonna pull it over and I may have to adjust my camera a bit here so you can see it. Oh, here, I'll make you um, large. Bring that there back. we go, that's much better. So you can see, <gasps> here, let's do that. Okay, now what I did was I put the trim because I love, I don't, what do you call this style shoulder, Dawn? Halter? Uh, it's a halter top? No, it, it's not a halter, it has a bag, but when they, when it comes oh. in, I forget what they call it, but that's my uh, favorite line. I actually love Cut away or cold shoulder. Those are the suggestions from Samira Raglan. and Alethea. Raglan, another good one from Elizabeth. Well, I kind of like those lines on some of the mm. t-shirts and tops. So I decided to go with that. But you see what I mean about the old 60s and 70s kind of look? Oh, um, yeah. I love the cowl, too. The, the Say that again? The cowl. Well, that was my leftover, and I'll show you because I Ooh. what I did was I drafted this and I put it on the side. It it goes down into the side seam on both sides Ooh. here. 
like that. It has the same look. And um, the back, I wanted some back interest. I didn't want it to be just plain, so I wanted some back interest. So I actually put this stripe down the back. Ooh. It's just a stripe down the back. And then as you notice up here, that was my piece that I had left. That is actually a choker. Ah, and it's, chokers are quite yeah, quite just a choker with a le with leather um, straps. So that's fabulous, Myra. You can wear it with or without the choker. But I really um, so how do you get in it? Well, it's a t-shirt and this is stretchy. My head just goes over with no problem. I mean, it's just, that is amazing. It's just a t-shirt. And this is that puppy that actually shrank on me and only had one yard left to deal with. I think it's very quick to do. But that was my biggest um, challenge with this because this being woven and this being a, a t-shirt knit, it's not like a ran or anything. It doesn't have a lot of stretch this way, mostly that way. Um, I was trying to make sure that this fit me with no gap gaping in here and I could get it over my head without putting a zipper in the back because I had this in the back. And let me tell you, I love this top. I love this. I really do. I had it on. And um, when you said, um, that's funny that both of you chose the same color scheme. Yeah, we did. <laughs> but um, the two colors in here uh, were my favorite colors. I love coral and I love blue. Those are my two favorite colors. And this was sitting for a while and I had just washed it and put it in the dryer when we opened up the envelope and I saw this. So I knew I had to use this. I knew I had to use it, but I love this. I really do. And now I'm going to show you pictures of me wearing it. I only have a couple because um, when I went to um, take, well, Dawn mentioned that she wanted to, to, us to take photos. I took them just before I came on and I actually had my husband take the photos. So what I'm going to do is show you a picture of me, he says, uh, that I did. Here we go. I will bring it up so you can see that it actually does fit me. It fits me very nicely. I love, can you guys see that? Oh, Myra, that does look very nice. Can, you can't see it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then it's gorgeous. And then I will show you what the back looks like on me as soon as I figure out how I'm, excuse me too, because I'm new at this switching back and forth, you guys. So. <laughs> and that is I the back. I think you're doing fabulously, Myra. And that's what the back looks on I me. Mean, it looks a little twisted because of the way I'm sitting on the chair, but. Um, I can't actually see that one, Myra. You cannot? Okay, let me just a second. Let me uh, go back over and I will bring it up for you. That one's not sharing, so we will go and share. I'm telling you, technical difficulties. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see now? Uh, oh, yes, it's, something's coming up. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah. Yeah, so it's a little it looks a little twisted because of the way I'm sitting on the chair, but I I love this t-shirt. I really do. And I think um I'm actually going to make some um probably some pants or some jeans or something like that to go specifically with this. So I am truly loving 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 um that that top. So I I thank you uh Lethia. Thank you all. Thank you. So much. I, I think we both did a great job. I, I tell you what, I would hate to be you guys in the audience to have to pick between <laughs> the two of us. I, I really do because I would have a hard time because I am in love with Dawn's too. I love mine, but I'm in love with hers too. So, and I have to say, great challenger, bowing down to oh, you. Great challenger. I, I think you're amazing. I, I actually like the color of your fabric better. I don't know if you can tell. Um, it's not just the light. My light is a bit yellower, but this is more of almost a peachy terracotta. Yes. Yeah, yours is a brighter color. I remember this. I, I just like your color better. Oh, yeah. well, and anything you. that's knit, I love knit. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I'm a knit girl. I definitely. But I tell you what, um, I really stuck one. This challenged me, and it also inspired me um, to work with more mixed media. I've dabbled in it a couple of times before, but this challenge here has actually inspired me to do a lot more mixed mediums because 
putting that woven together with this knit was challenging for me, but I made it work. And I love the way it came together. I absolutely love. So you can also learn something from this challenge too, <laughs> which I didn't know. Um, and we will be voting in a second. We'll explain all that. But we just missed a comment. Um, Alethe had asked about the hem. Now I've just totally lost it again. Um, oh, yes, here it is. Is that a band at the bottom or just a deep hem? It's a deep hem. It's a very deep hem. Um, it's about, and I'm actually going to cut it off after the show because after I put it on, I like the way it's loose because I didn't want it real tight. I wanted it to hang kind of almost in the A line, which it does. But I had, when I tried it on for the fit before it was done, I thought it was kind of long. So I said, well, I'll just put this deep hem in. It'll make it heavier because this is really a tissue weight kind of thing. And it worked. It did make it heavier, but it's still too long. So it hits me just almost below my hips. So I'm going to have to cut it off a little bit more and um, make it a little bit uh, shorter. But yes, no, it's not a band. It's a deep hem. Well, that was um, one question I was going to ask, um, Myra. It, what, if anything, would you change um, on your um, design? And I think I just noticed now. Uh -huh. just, is there a flower pattern on that? Uh, yes, it's rose. Knit? Yes, it's rose. Oh, even lovelier than before, Myra. Yeah, it's rose. Yes. That's gorgeous. I don't know, ladies and, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. I think that pushes things over. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think that's lovely. Um, yeah, is there anything that you would have changed? Um, yeah, I think, well, let me think about this. Um, my initial design, where I said I didn't have enough on my, you know, to do on my sketch, actually brought these down. Instead of putting them here, they came in and I would have the trim all the way down on the sides. So it looked like this was all separate from the back. I kind of think I would have liked that. And I would like to try that um, in a in another one, a uh, different trim and different um, material. But I think I am going to do that because I just think it's such a, I don't know, I think it's just such a neat design to do that that I would like to do that in another outfit and maybe even add sleeves, like, like a cold shoulder type uh, with it and maybe have the trim around the sleeves or something like that too. I just think that that would be really, really pretty um, to do something like that. But in changing, yeah, I think that's the only thing that would change because I really do like this. I really do. I know it looks kind of crazy on there, like it's twisted up and short, but um, it's really beautiful. I like um, when I put it on, I just felt really cute in it. <laughs> I really did. But I just like I said, I would have really liked to have my, my afro and have my uh, big hoops on. And who knows, maybe I'll wear it with some white boots and a short mini skirt for Halloween. Who knows? <laughs> 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 Got to find me some white go-go boots. <laughs> but yeah, I, um, I love it. Um, and other than that, maybe changing the style, I can't see anything that I would change on mine. What about you? Is there anything that you would like to change on yours, you think? Um, yeah, I was being sneaky and putting the poll questions. And I, <laughs> um, and yes, I will. Like I said before, I would definitely change how this part is. I would, oops, rush rush, malfunction. Uh -huh. I would have um, made this slope down slightly uh -huh. and had one more and had it just a little bit more of a, so there was more like a definite more of a, a sleeve versus, yeah. Okay. And then if I had more trim, oh my gosh, if I had more trim, <laughs> <laughs> I definitely would have put a little bit on each part of the the, the side bit here. Um, I wish I had taken a photo of the, oh, I have it on my 12s. I was practicing. I had two different versions. So just where the, the bottom of the hem is, it's all inside out, sorry. Mm -hmm. Where one side curves uh -huh. and the back side goes straight down, I would have loved to put just a tiny bit oh, of trim yeah. in here. Just like a glint. Mm -hmm. I know it, it seems like a, a silly kind of thing. Why would you? But I, I don't know. In my mind, I was like, oh, I want to do that. Yeah, just that little peak. Uh, and I like that this is bigger, but then it does that. So yeah. I probably would have had a slightly smaller I would have actually gone out and bought one <laughs> yes <laughs> um, yeah those are my 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 two biggies 
Um, now, while Meyer and I are talking, if, you, if you're watching this live on Crowdcast, if you go to the poll section, which is below our photos, mm -hmm. it says ask a question in polls, there's three questions there for you to answer. Um, basically, the first one is use of the mystery trim. Who used the mystery trim the best? And then it just says Don or Myra, and we will not take it personally. And nope. we know we don't know who voted for what. Yep. It just shows up as a number. I yep. swear, nobody knows. Yep. Um, the next one is overall design. So just from a design perspective, nothing else. Which one did you think that you liked the that best, Myra or Don? And then the third and final one is basically construction. So which one do you think might have taken more sewing, or you think the sewing might have been um, uh, realized better? Um, who showed more sewing prowess? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so we would love, 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 love for you guys to vote. So just below, ask the question polls. We don't know who you are. It's just so that you guys get used to voting because in the next three months, there's going to be some superb people coming yeah. on and yeah. there's going to be some crazy fun voting. And that is for big prizes. So we would love for you guys to vote here. So kind of see how it goes. Okay. And then. I'm sure, yeah. And I was just going to say, Amanda, yes, if I do, which I probably am going to do that, um, I will definitely show you all. I will definitely show you all. She, one of the things I was saying about when you ask, uh, were there any changes? I was talking about another design that I really think would work with this. And I would like to do that. And she said, uh, please show us if you try that. And I will. I would love that. And, um, Again, it might end up in one of her videos on her YouTube channel. Yes. It could end up in Myra's Facebook group. Yes. It could end up in so much talent, Carrie Crafters, yes. lots of fabulous places. And I hope we do get to see it. And Myra, if you do it, even show it, up, show, us off, show it off on the show. We'd love to see your creations. Thanks, Natita. We'll see you again. And thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Yes. Um, yes. So. That was basically Myra and I. Do you have any advice for the contestants, some of which are watching this evening, about the process and um, anything that could give them a leg up? Yeah, um, well, the, the best advice that I can give the uh, future contestants that are coming on is don't take it too seriously. I mean, just have fun with it. Because um, at one point, one tiny point when my fabric shrank and I knew I wasn't going to be able to do what I had in my mind. I had a little bit of stress and I put some pressure on myself and I went, what the heck are you doing? Just pull out your thing and start sketching and have fun. And once you do that, I guarantee you'll relax and it'll start coming to you. You'll have fun with it. It doesn't matter. I mean, if I hadn't have done this and I had to make a t-shirt, and put a T across the T-shirt and bring it up here. I would have been happy with that because it was something that I did and I took my time to do. So my advice to you is just do what you like and have fun with it. Don't worry about the competition. Uh, just have fun. That's all we ask you to do is have fun. Um, focus on your likes, um, your dislikes, and whatever you have as your mystery item. Just make sure that you're making that the focal point because that's important for us to see is that that mystery, we want to see that mystery item, whatever it is, make sure that's the focal point. Um, because if we give you, and I'm not gonna say it's going to be, but if you get a piece of trim like this and you snip off a little piece and put it right here, <laughs> that's not what we're talking about. We want you to, we want you to use that and make it a true focal point of your your item so but still just have fun with it that's all i'm asking is if you have fun with this challenge then it, you've done everything that i could possibly imagine and don't worry about the votes because the people are going to vote for whatever they think they like and it's just like any other challenge it's up to the opinion of those people and they probably are going to love both but they have to choose one so, and that's, that's the way it goes with everything. So have fun with it. That's my advice. Dawn, you have a, you have something else to add to that? Um, I would just say start it early <laughs> yeah. um, because life gets in the way. Let's, let's be honest. I've worked with other, um, you know, when you work with other people and just stuff happens, yes. hurricanes, 
power outages, um, illness, you name it. And it, those sorts of things can throw you off. So if you start early, then you don't have to worry about, yeah. about that. But as long as you, like Myra said, as long as you hand something in and you like it, yes. And it features the the trim. You don't have to use all of the trim, just some of the trim. It's a feature part of your garment. We don't care if it's a pair of trousers, a top, a jacket. Yeah. If it takes an hour to make or six hours, if you pattern make it yourself, if you use a pattern from Berta, and there there's a nice one in the current Berta. <laughs> get off topic. Yeah. Oh wait, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh wow, no, I didn't. Is that a coat? <laughs> yeah. Berta. Wow. <laughs> anyway, sorry, sorry, totally <laughs> off topic there. But I mean, it can be from Berta, from the simplicity, from whatever. Just make something that makes you happy. A pillow. And a pillow. Uh, it could be anything. It has to be a garment, though. Yes. Oh. I know. I know. I know. Just for this one, maybe we'll do one another time. That's like a crafty thing. But yes. Um, oh yes, yeah, that, that would be my advice. Start early and try to have fun with it. Um, I see someone just joined us. I'm not sure if it's Yana or Jenna. Yana. Hi, Jenna. And uh, to answer to your question, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, yes, um, I do have a Facebook group. It's called, um, and I thought you were a part of it. It's called Myra Sewing Addiction. If you look that up, actually, I'll send you an invite. And. Uh, yeah, and if you want to, and anyone else, uh, if you're watching, if you go to that Sewing Labs Facebook page, you can find out more about this competition yes. um, and more about when the shows are on. Yes. Um, this competition is running. This is just a practice round. We're going to find out who the winner is. So Yana or Jana, depending where you're from and how you pronounce it, um, if you haven't voted yet or if you're in the audience and you haven't voted yet, please go to where it says polls. This ask the question polls. It's below our photo. Okay. If you click on it, there's three questions. If you can answer the questions, that's voting for which design you like best. And Myra has hers here. We'll show that off for somebody who hasn't been here. Looking gorgeous, Myra. I love <laughs> the color. You. Thank so you. Thank you. <laughs> and I love the, the cowl. And then the back is really cute, too. Yeah, I love that. Uh, to tie my choker back up because um my choker is coming apart and i uh, i've never worn a choker before so this was that was kind of cool to wear that choker like that and i actually i really love that choker i mean i i love this like uh, i said i may even even though it's not a costume i may wear this um because it has that kind of vibe um uh with a, for a 70s halloween costume oh it looks so cool. Um, yes. And, and bye, this. Alicia. If you're leaving, I'm sorry. I must have missed that. But thank you for stopping in. Um, thank you so much. And for the person who uh, just joined us, this was the other design. So now we should have an, hopefully one more person will vote it. <laughs> so same trim used yep. in both designs. Um, different fabrics, yep. Terracotti, Brighton, people. <laughs> um, yes. Now, while people take time to vote, we just want to mention um, some of the things coming up in the, the show. So um, we have next week, we start the main show. Yes. Um, the first round, it was with Carol Crocker Ware. Yes. And Melanie Wise, yes. two totally amazing, amazing women yes. and seamstresses. Beautiful ladies, and then, both. Yeah. And then November is Elizabeth Farr, who is in the audience. Hello, Elizabeth. Um, Elizabeth, I have Princess Leia buns, and I'm wearing <laughs> them for Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> and if you didn't know what that was about, yes. um, we'll have to put the, the picture up so you guys can see it in a second. She was fabulous. And she is going up against Cheryl Belden. Yes. She's our last contestant. We are very excited. Yes. And then in December, the two of those will face off against each other. And we have $25 gift certificates for the two finalists of round one and round two, yes. as well as a $100 gift certificate for the winner. So if the winner wins, it's actually $125 worth of gift certificates. So um, hopefully, um, that should make things a little bit more exciting. And we do have a, a couple um, other things as well. Yeah. So 
we'll tell you more about those later. So Myra, you have been instrumental in recruiting people for this you. show you think you can so show. Do you have anything to say about the fabulous people that are coming on? They are, they were just awesome. You know, um, mm -hmm. I, I actually, I don't know what to say. They're just fabulous yeah. people because when I reached out to them and I talked to them about it, um, there was no hesitation once I explained, you know, the situation and explained what we were trying to do. There was no hesitation in any of the ladies. They were ready to jump in and just do that. Um, maybe some a little shy, a little nervous, but shoot, so was I. <laughs> I didn't think I could do this either. So, um, but I think once they got in and they got started, and um, especially once they posted their video and they knew they were committed, it was it was awesome. I, I, I really enjoyed it. But what I would like to see is if we did this again uh, next year, if we made this a series, an annual series, um, I would like to see more people volunteer. And we did have some people that said maybe next year. Um, they wanted to see how it goes. So hopefully we'll be able to continue it because it is a lot of fun. It truly is. Now, with that said, you all have seen the first three contestants video, but you haven't seen our last contestants video. And um, we'd like to give, I don't know if she's in the audience right now. I hope she is, but if she isn't, we want to give her the same screen time that we did the others and show you her video. And like my lovely host, she likes something else too. Yes, so I thought first to start off this conversation, the lovely and so enthusiastic, yes. gorgeous, talented Elizabeth Barr yes. um, posted a challenge, kind of a, a call to arms asking for the fourth contestant. So yes. I thought I'd share that so then you get a little background on the video that we're about to watch. Yes. So this is the amazing Elizabeth. She will be our contestant in November. Looking ears. Love that. There's Love it. that. Love that challenge. That is a and, photo. Yeah. <laughs> and she has a, a lifesaver <laughs> to help her look like she's ready for the challenge. Looking fierce. <laughs> it's actually a pool noodle, which is very, very creative. <laughs> so from that, um, our contestant saw that and um, took up the call to arms. Now, I'm always a little worried about the sound. If you can't hear the sound very well, um, I apologize. I think we're gonna open up the So You Think You Can Sew Facebook page now that we have our four contestants so that you guys can see their, their audition videos as well. Yes. But we'll try this. Oh. Okay, so sorry, I'm technically gonna be a Quick second, getting it ready here. Okay, oh, got, somehow that went smaller when I made the screen bigger. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to share my screen. Sorry about that, guys. It takes a little second to load these guys up. And now I'm worried about the sound. So tell me if you can't hear this. Uh, okay, so here it is. This is the fabulous Cheryl. Oh. Um, oh. And I can't make it any larger. Sorry about that. And here it is. All right. How's it going? Oh, that was loud. My bad. Well, since I have your attention and possibly your hearing uh, capabilities, I'm just going to let you know my name is Cheryl. Yes, that's right. That's me. And I came here to show you that I can sew. Oh, yes. I can. Well, a little. <laughs> okay, look. This is the stuff right here. Pretty cute, isn't it? I know, thank you. Probably thinking it is. Thanks. So I want to be considered for November, and I was challenged by the Jedi noodle trick, and it worked. <laughs> and just because you're Star Wars on the on on the on the bright side of things, I got my nerd bubble. See? <laughs> yeah, my nerd bubble is gonna pop your little Jedi mind <laughs> tricks, and my sewing skills are gonna be like, what on point? So you ain't even ready. You guys are ready. I got my makeup on. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's do this. <laughs> yeah, but also have fun and be very creative and <laughs> let the best souls win. Love you. See ya. Bye. 
<laughs> oh, I love that. She's got her little bubble there. <laughs> she had her pictures of her. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's awesome. Could you hear them, okay, Myra? Yes, I could. Could everyone else hear it? I know it was a little hard to see, but yes, I can yeah, hear so her. We'll open that up um, for next week. Um, so that people can see them. But um, I thought it was fabulous of Elizabeth to set the challenge down and tremendous of Cheryl to take it and even to yes. keep running with the joke. So uh, yeah, I just, I can't wait. We're definitely gonna have a meeting with our contestants. Yes. Uh, hopefully this week I'll be able to catch up with them all mm -hmm. and go over any questions or concerns they have. But if you would like to watch the shows, um, the first week of the month will be the we, they rip into their parcels and show us what the trim is, and we learn more about each contestant. And I think the second week they're going to come on. Oh, pardon? I was just going to ask, and I think our first contestants have received their packages already. Yes. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, from from B um, and J trims, B and J. I always get two of them mixed up. M and J trims, M and J trims in New York City. Brought to Canada, mailed from Canada to the States. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, so um, they're going to open them the first day and we're going to get to know them better. Okay. The second day, uh, the second week, Tuesday of the month, they're going to come on and talk about some of the challenges and things that they've, they've done and maybe show us what fabrics they're thinking of using and give us a little background into their inspirations and stuff. Um, much like I did just showing photos of things that I could make not necessarily what the final garment will be like. Right. And hopefully we might also have uh, on the second uh, show of the month, have someone like Alethea or someone from the So Much Talent group tell us about some of their challenges as well. Okay. And then the third week um, is the voting week, third week of the month. Um, the only thing I'd say is we can only have 50 people live on here. So you probably want to get in as quick as you can for the voting shows especially. Yes. Uh, all the replays will be on YouTube. Um, yes, that's pretty much it. Mario, do you have anything to add? No, I don't. It was a fun challenge. I had, I truly did have a lot of fun with it. And I tell you, um, you blew me out of the water with yours. I really do love it. So you, you did awesome lady. You were a great contender, <laughs> a great contender. <laughs> well, I had a blast as well. And I think you did fantastic. Yeah, thank you. And I must say the audience agrees. If you look at the polls, huh? the poll, um, who used the mystery trim best? Myra. Aww. Which does the like best overall? Myra. And which construction garment has the best construction? Both of Hi. us. Oh, yeah. oh my. We brought it on that one, didn't we? Yes. <laughs> Aww. No, that was absolutely fabulous. And I can tell you as an official loser <laughs> that I still do it a hundred times over. That was a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> You're not a loser in my book, not with that outfit. <laughs> Remember, I'm going to have to strap this bra next time. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it was definitely a lot of fun and I would do it again. Me too. And yeah, Myra, thank you. Thank you for making it a lot of fun. <laughs> now, um, before we go real quick, um, and thank you. Um, it, it's, it, I can't talk. It has been absolutely wonderful, Dawn, um, doing this challenge with you. But I noticed that there was something in the Ask a Question. So oh, people, oh, sorry. Um, Elizabeth, so people can only vote while this is live. That is true, Elizabeth. You have to be live to be able to vote. Um, and um, we. We talked about that, but we'd like to keep it that way. It's uh, it's really an incentive for people to come on and watch the show. It truly is. Um, but we appreciate you know other votes, and you'll be able to see this on YouTube and, and replay what happened. But we wanted to basically keep it for the people who were streaming. Um, we're here for the live stream. So and one of the other huge deciders on that when we were talking was um, we have to mail people the trims for them to use. So we were thinking, oh, maybe we'll open it for a week on YouTube and then people who are watching the replay on YouTube can vote. Yeah. But then we would literally have one day to get the trim from our houses to the winners um, because we won't know who the winner is from the second round for the third round. And there's only that week in between right. the two. And you can't push it later because we don't want to go too close to Christmas or anything. Yeah. So. You definitely, definitely need to have it. As soon as this show is done, we're putting it in the mail type thing, you know, we, so we couldn't leave it open for very long. Right. So that's 
that's another reason. It would be nice, and maybe we'll figure something out for next year. Right. If um, people really enjoy this year, um, we'd love your feedback. Um, yeah, maybe we will. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Elizabeth. I really appreciate it. And I tell you what, like Dawn said, I would do this all over again because it was truly just that much fun. It really, really was. Um, the excitement of having that mystery package sit there, like Dawn said, and you want to rip it open and see what's in it and you can't, was just exciting. So, but do you have anything else, Dawn? If not, we'll go ahead and wrap it up for tonight. No, um, I guess the only thing I'd mention is that I was a little, um, there would be more of our shows on YouTube soon. We had a little glitch and have it to do closed captioning. So this week, two shows ago will be up as well as last week's show where Myra and I um, opened up the package. But you can still watch them on Crowdcast. But yeah, it'll just take a teeny bit. And then we'll be back to having them up about two days after each show. So I apologize for that, everyone. <laughs> but that's about it. OK. Yeah. Well, thank you again, um, Miss Dawn for another lovely show. And thank you all to our guests who sh uh, joined us tonight for the 76th episode of That's So I'm Glad. We really appreciate each and every one of you for uh, stopping by and joining us. And we hope you have a lovely evening and we will see you again next Tuesday at 7.30. Have a wonderful night, everyone. Congratulations, Maya. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Congratulations to you too. Fabulous job. <laughs> Bye everyone. <laughs>